So those moves by the ECB were originally welcomed by investors. Stocks jumped at the open but quickly reversed course, at one point down about 1 percent during the day. But then in the end, stocks recovered and kind of hugged the flat line. The Dow losing five points to 16,995. The Nasdaq dropped 12, but the S&P 500 was able to scratch out a fractional gain. All of that had some people asking, what happened? Bob Pisani explains. What happened to our rally? ECB head Mario Draghi initially did everything the market expected. He reduced rates, he expanded the QE program, he announced they would be buying corporate bonds, so stocks went up, the euro went down, bond yields went down, at least in Europe. But then at the end of the press conference, he made a remark that sort of changed everything. He said he didn't anticipate the need to further reduce rates. Okay, though well, that doesn't sound like much, but suddenly everything reversed. Stocks in Europe and the U.S., our futures started dropping. Germany ended down 2% for the day. Now, why did that happen? That doesn't sound very controversial. Maybe Draghi just wanted to send a more balanced message that rates won't keep going down forever. Well, that sounds reasonable, but for whatever reason, the market seems surprised by that. And at the very least, it indicates that the market's addiction to stimulus programs is still very strong. Now, it didn't help that oil dropped at the open, so many big oil names like ExxonMobil struggled all day to get into the green. Now, one positive aspect of the ECB moves was that the dollar weakened against the euro. A weaker dollar is good news for multinational companies because it makes exports cheaper for others to buy. So companies like Coke and Philip Morris and Pepsi and Clorox did go into the green, although only fractionally. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.